Hey, what's going on, guys? Treetop Piper back with you guys with another top 10. This is going to be my top 10 of attainable blends, and this one I'm not going to put them in, or in, in any particular order. This is my top 10 attainable blends for 2017. Right here. Mm. Housekeeping, I'm smoking out of my K. Woody Meersham. Smoking some quiet nights. Haven't had it in a while, and it's just wonderful. Really a great smoke. But anyway, um, this is the uh, top 10 for 2017 blends that you can go out and buy pretty much right now. Stonehenge Flake. Um, just a great vapor um, with a wonderful, some kind of a top note, chocolatey top note. Um, I've done a first impression on it or a review. Just a great tobacco. Um, you can refer back to that, that video where I talk about it and it's all its chocolatiness and flavors. It's just a wonderful uh, Virginia Perique blend. And then the next one would be 40th Anniversary. Now this one, I'm pretty sure, has been on just about everybody's top 10 for 2017. Just a rock solid um, Virginia blend. Made by McClellan's. Great taste, great flavors. Red Virginia blend, similar to the Carolina Red Flake. But you can buy it. It's readily available at stores and online. Uh, next would be Frog Morton. Probably one of the all-time greatest McClellan blends uh, ever produced, or, you know, and it's still being produced. I mean, it's, you cannot go wrong. It's uh, with, a, with a Frog Morton blend. The only one I didn't particularly care for was the cellar. That happens to be the most popular, but I'm just not an aromatic guy. The next one after that would be the Sam Gaw with Navy Flake. Now, I spoke about this in my last video. This is up there, one of my all times. It's just a really, really wonderful Navy a twist on the Navy Flake with the addition of the Latakia. Just a really killer blend. And, uh,. great right out of a fresh tin too really is and then uh, uh another one a vapor that i just really fell in love with this year was bayou morning and or bayou morning flake they're pretty much the same blend it just depends on how you like your tobacco um how you have how, how you prefer your tobacco the pro how you prefer it to be processed um I liked them both equally. Although with the bulk, it's a bit of a crapshoot. You don't know. It could, it varies. Um, one one batch of, of Bayou Morning bulk will could be different from the other from another batch. And I actually had experience with that, so I would go with the, the tin. The next one is Skiff Mixture, and this is another one I mentioned yesterday. This, um, like I said uh, yesterday, this is one of my all-time favorite um, Balkan English blends. Fell in love with it from the first bowl years ago. Like I said, I really cut my teeth on that blend. Really, really did cut my teeth on it. Really got me kind of fell in love with pipe tobacco from that point. And then the next we've got, as I'm smoking, Quiet Nights. Just a fantastic blend. Some people like to call it the Penzance Killer. I think that's kind of 
immature, I would say. To me, you know, it's not a question of this one or that one or, or choosing between this one or that one. I like them both. I have them, I have them both. I smoke them both. Uh, you know, I don't compare them. I enjoy them both equally, you know. Or, well, I would say I enjoy Penzance a little more, but The Quiet Nights, it stands on its own. It doesn't kill any other blend. If I had Quiet Nights, I would still be trying to get Penzance. And if I had Penzance, I would still want to have quiet nights I mean it's that simple so the next one moving on can't forget the Dunhills Dunhill Flake um, one of the it's just an absolute standard when it comes to Virginia Flakes uh, they have always produced good uh, their Dunhill Flake has always been uh, an, an excellent introduction to Virginia. I mean, not only that, but it's just a great blend all around. Um, lemony citrus, grassy flavors, just a nice, nice English, or, uh, excuse me, Virginia blend. And then next, another Dunhill blend, Nightcap, of course. You've got to have Nightcap. I mean, uh, just really a great blend. Um, great English blend for the evening hours. Um, rich, full, everything you you know you want from an English. Um, it's ribbon cut, burns really well. Just a great, great, fantastic tobacco. And last but not least, this is actually one of my favorites of all time. McConnell Scottish Flake. Now, I know a lot of people haven't tried McConnell's tobacco. It can be kind of hard to come by, um, especially the Scottish Flake. It tends to sell out the quickest. But it's produced, now it's produced by a German company called Kohlhaus and Kopf. The Scottish Cake is good, but I prefer the Scottish Flake. And I've only had three of their tobaccos. I've had or no, four. I've had Scottish, Scottish, uh, Scottish blend. Yeah, the Scottish blend, which is like, not, it's similar to Nightcap. I've had their Scottish cake, one bowl of it. Um, Scottish flake and Latakia flake. And, that, and my favorite was the uh, Scottish flake. And I have some in the cellar now, uh, aging. But anyway, that's my top 10 2017 attainable blends, blends that can be bought right now. Um, and also, I'm going to record another video today, and I thought it would be a really cool video, um, a really good idea, but uh, what, what I'm going to do is it's going to be a video on how to develop your palate, uh, how to develop your pipe smoking palette and and how I developed my pipe smoking palette how I was able to to uh, develop it so quickly how I was able to uh, figure out what it was that I was that I was tasting in some of these really complex blends so I know some of you younger guys younger well not younger guys but guys that are newer to the pipe smoking hobby you know don't exactly know what it is you're tasting yet and I'd like to do a video to try and help you kind of figure that out or show blends that can help you figure out what you're tasting so um, you know that's the end of this top 10 you know attainable blends of 2017 but if you stay tuned later on today I'm gonna to upload another one on how to develop your pal your palate uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it as usual and I uh, hope you guys' weekend or your week went good. Your weekend's going to go good and you guys have a great and wonderful holiday season and a Merry Christmas. But until the next video later on, Treetop Piper over and out.